Okay, I'm out here just tinkering on this. I'm doing up the plates. I printed out, or I did divisions up and printed out three sets of these here. This is 39, 37. There's more over to over there. This is six pages, which is six rows for each plate. I'll cut this out and put some sticky, the double sized sticky tape. This is for sticking pictures and stuff onto the backs of, or sticking them to the scrapbooking stuff. But it works fine for this. I'll take you over and show you what it looks like here. I'm machining right on the clamp because I can make another one real easy. It was a piece of cake, hard to make. And I want it running true to the bolt holes. And I'm not going down into the clamp very much, so it should be good to go still. So I'll take this off and we'll see how it looks. Okay, here it is. Looks pretty good. I okay, screwed up the hole and it all belonged it here when I was first making the discs. But other than that, it, it's good to go. I got a hole blocked there. Now it's not unblocked. Or now it's unblocked. Yeah. Two more to go. And this is the one with all the holes in it that takes most of the time. This is 256 holes. This is number plate number three. It has 49, 47, 43, 41, 39, and 37. I'll have to go through and drill out that hole because I forgot it. Oh, where did I miss that one? Anyways, I'll take and go through and stamp numbers on it for each row so I know which ones or which. But yeah, that one's done. Okay, I'll go work on the rest of these and I don't know what I'm going to do then. Huh. fingers there it's not getting close enough to the drill bit even though it looks like it but I just have it there so that I can hold the paper down otherwise it lifts it up when I'm trying to drill and puts chips underneath which drags on the scraper and messes up your precision Okay, now I'll wipe this off with some toilet paper. Learned that little trick from Dan. I think he got it from Zinadu, I think. Uh, and I'll get the next paper ready to put on. I moved it over just a little bit, about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Eh, maybe a bit more. Between them, so that when it goes down, it'll have the spacing it needs.
like that and so I can keep the alignment all the way down rather than the holes being all over the place and it just looks better all right, how I have this set up I got the light pulled back for a minute but I have an overhead light there which is just in one of my manifold blocks I wish to shine the light where I'm working on this thing but what I just want to show you this is an old piece of a coat hanger here I just have it held into the where uh, normally you'd have a switch for this old drill press but mine never came with it so it just had this old cast iron cover which I just unscrewed this just slightly and barely put any pressure on it just to hold this piece of coat hanger. It has a real sharp point on it which when I put the paper templates on here I I just I have the light right over it here and you can see the shadow of the point and also see the line and everything just match those up and you got your lock the thing up the dividing head lock the spindle and drill and then move unlock it move to the next buck line line it up lock it drill pretty simple All done for this plate. That makes two. One more to go, and that's the easy one. Just a stack of papers right here. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, and 15. That's all that's left. I'll set the other one up real quick and get it ready to go, and I'm calling it quits. Okay, all three are done. I did the hardest one first because, let's face it, most of the time you'll be using this one or this one. But after drilling all these holes, if you're going to say screw it, I don't need it. So I did that one first. I got them all numbered all the way down. And now I gotta take and put one on and do up a job that I needed to do from the beginning. So I'll put it all back together real quick and we'll get to doing the job. More drilling holes. Also, I put a dimple on the back side of this thing where it's not gonna be seen, and a dimple here so I can align the screw holes same way each time so it'll always be in alignment to the countersunk screws okay things all together I'm using the 18 hole one because it's 40 41 gear ratio so 360 divided by 40 equals 9 I don't have a number 9 plate but I do have an 18 so I'm trying to go deg degrees right now rather than divisions because I gotta have 10 degree apart 36 holes and I gotta have another row just with 11 holes in it for helping out a friend he's making a spin indexer and needed some way to accurately index everything to draw everything 
So, to use this thing, I have it set so that it has two hole gap in between. Unlock the table lock over here. Pull it out. One full revolution. And there it drops in the hole. Lock it. Now I'll drill. Pretty simple. Back in the same hole, there are 36 holes. Now I'll readjust this, and since I need 11 degrees now, I'll change it from two holes difference to four. Because it's 11 times two is 22, so 18 and four extra now. So I'll find a screwdriver here, get this. And there is four. Okay. Push this in a little bit to So I'll leave it back around and get started at zero again. Okay. Since I have the four here, it translates out to 22 holes, so 11 degrees. Each hole is half a, de or half a degree on number 18. Okay, that's 11 holes, 11 degrees apart. There are 10 holes, 11 degrees apart. The outside is 36 holes. I'll do one more row of 24. I gotta figure that out real quick. But I just figured it out. I just switched it from 18 to 21. Just it's I just used the chart here. This chart from the Gingry book. 21 holes, one full turn, 19 holes. Much easier than trying to do it with degrees. So 21 minus 2 is 19. Or, yeah. So I set the arms for two holes. One full turn. You go over it, always go back at least a half a turn, and then go to your spot to see you know where you're going to. 
city, you don't have any back. You can take up the backlash out of the street. That plate's done. 36, 11 degrees apart. Yeah, 10, 11, and then 24 holes. So, good to go. Take this off and package it up. Okay, before I take it all apart, I want to show you something. I did get a sticker board. Let me adjust the tripod here. Just a cork board and Steve's sticker is already up there. I've got some other people's stickers on the way, which I'm really excited about. I'll put those up as soon as I get them. And, yep, uh, I just want to show you the sticker board. Back to the tearing the thing part. Okay, I've got this all done up. The only thing left to do is just drill and tap two holes in the back, in here, on the bottom side, for this little piece of plate steel here. That way it holds the lathe dog solid, and it doesn't let any backlash for when you're turning between, or indexing between centers. But I doubt I'll really use that thing that much, so it's not any rush. This thing is officially done. I'm going to clean up because it is a massive mess in here from all of this stuff. And I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Okay, captain's log, day 42. I've been drilling holes for weeks and I am losing my mind. One more row to go. <laughs> holes, holes, more holes.